today i am going to discuss about uh, abstract function and abstract class okay so abstract function and abstract class so what is abstract function and what is abstract class then how to implement uh, abstract function and abstract class scenario we will see practical implementation also right so let's talk about uh, abstract function and abstract class abstract function and abstract class what is abstract function means a function which do not contain any implementation or body a function which do not contain any implementation or body and a function which contain only declaration or signature okay we have to declare only so declaration or signature this function is known as abstract function okay a function which do not contain any implementation or body and a function which contain only declaration or signature is known as abstract function to make any function as abstract use abstract keyword okay if you want to make any function as abstract function then we can make it as abstract keyword you can use that abstract keyword and abstract function is compulsory to override abstract function is compulsory to override and abstract function should be terminated abstract function should be terminated for example you can see this here i am taking one function public void get emp data this is not an abstract function because it is having some implementation here but as i told that abstract function means which contain only declaration which do not contain any implementation is known as abstract function to make any function as abstract we should use what abstract keyword so here public abstract void get emp data and abstract function should be terminated no yes here it is termination so this is the termination symbol abstract function should be terminated so that means here no implementation is there so this type of function is called abstract function public abstract void get emp data okay so abstract function is compulsory override why because here no implementation this should be implemented in other class okay abstract function should be implemented in other class so this is just abstract function rules and regulation a function which do not contain any implementation or body or a function which contain only declaration or signature is known as abstract function to make any function as abstract you should use a keyword called abstract keyword and abstract function should be terminated and abstract function is compulsory to override right so what is abstract class abstract class means what a class which contain one or more abstract functions is called abstract class a class which contain one or more abstract functions is called abstract class to make any class as abstract use abstract keyword to make any class as abstract use abstract keyword then here abstract class abstract class is contain non abstract functions also as i told that a class which contain one or more abstract function is called abstract class but abstract class is contain non abstract functions also here abstract class cannot be instantiate directly that means we cannot create object for abstract class so that is what abstract class cannot be instantiate directly so if you want to provide a functionality to its abstract function then we need to create or derive new class from abstract class so abstract class cannot instantiate directly so that is the reason we need to create or derive new class from abstract class why to provide functionality to its abstract functions okay then most important thing is by default abstract class functions are not public and abstract so every time in abstract class functions public abstract we have to provide why because by default abstract class functions are not public and abstract okay next so abstract class can contain all members of class it is important abstract class can contain all members of class so what are the members of class here data fields 
functions, constructors, destructors, events, properties, indexes, so many things are there. So that all contain abstract class clearly. Okay. So these are the rules and regulations of abstract class. So a class which contain one or more abstract function is called abstract class and to make any class as abstract we have to use abstract keyword and abstract class can contain all members of class and abstract class cannot be instantiated directly so that we need to create or derive new class from abstract class to provide functionality to its abstract functions and abstract class functions by default not public and abstract we should give uh, public and abstract every time here okay so let's see practical implementation how to implement abstract class and abstract function so by giving class diagram and all okay so let's go to uh, practical implementation for abstract function and abstract class create a class diagram first for making abstract class I'm going to create abstract class class diagram here the class name is something CLS employee 7 let's create class name is CLS employee 7 this class is what abstract to make any class as abstract we should use abstract keyword okay this class is abstract class right then after that we have some data fields here protected int EMP ID protected int EMP ID next here protected string e name protected string e name string e address int eh these are what data fields you know that now here i am taking methods public abstract void get emp data a class which contain one or more abstract function is called abstract class so this is abstract function so here it is terminated then next uh, public virtual void display emp data this is what function it is a virtual function as i told that abstract class can contain one or more abstract function and abstract class is contain non abstract functions also like public virtual wide display mp data so this is abstract class diagram here let's practically do that let's go to project menu and add class here i am adding one class with the name cls employee 7 cls employee 7 yes now how to make this class as abstract then we can use what keyword abstract keyword here abstract keyword then the members are here I'm going to take these abstract class members are protected protected int emp id protected string e name string e address int e h right so this is abstract class uh, members so now it is having what Abst public abstract void get emp data this is what abstract function an abstract function should be terminated next public public virtual wide display emp data now it is having implementation abstract function do not contain any implementation which contain only declaration or body so here only declaration and abstract function is compulsory to override and abstract function is should be terminated here it is terminated it don't have any implementation now let's do let's do that implementation here display method is having implementation that is so 
EMP details are EMP details are then console dot right line EMP ID is plus this dot EMP ID console dot right line ename is plus this dot ename console dot right line e address is plus this dot e address console dot right line e h is plus this dot e h and this is what now you know that clearly abstract class cannot be instantiated directly so this is abstract class so that means we cannot create object for this class so that we need to create or derive new class from abstract class to provide functionality to its abstract functions we need to provide functionality to its abstract function so that's what we need to create or derive new class how do i do that now let's create new class class cls abstract otherwise we can see cls manager one it should be inherited from cls employee seven CLS employee 7 is abstract class so derived class is CLS manager now here I am going to take uh, what it is uh, double so you know that double car events and bonus I am taking then here I am going to take abstract class compulsory should be override so that's what override wide and get EMP data okay so public override wide get EMP data so now you can see we are implementing that overriding function in this here abstract class can be override here abstract function can be override here get emp data then console dot right line here implementation has done in this class enter manager details enter manager details then this dot this dot emp id so how i can access emp id because of previous class and base class have given EMP ID is what protected member ename also protected member these two members we can able to access into outside the class also so you know that protected members are able to access within the same class and also in derived class so that's what EMP ID I'm going to access so convert dot 2 into 32 of console dot read line then this dot ename equal to console dot read line then this dot car elements equal to convert dot two double console dot read line this dot bonus equal to convert dot two double of console dot read line this is what uh, we are entering that uh, all manager details then how do we display that so abstract function is overriding then virtual function is there here so it's not compulsory to override already told then virtual function is overriding here I am now public override wide display EMP data public override wide display EMP data now let's implement that override method public console dot right line manager details are manager details are and console dot right line manager ID is plus manager ID is plus this dot EMP ID console dot right line manager name is plus this dot e name console dot right line manager car elements car elements is plus this dot ca then console dot right line bonus is bonus is plus this dot bonus okay right then after that you can see as per our discussion to make any class as abstract we should use abstract keyword so this is abstract class abstract class means what a class which contain one or more abstract function is called abstract class so here it is abstract function abstract function means what a function which do not contain any implementation and uh, which contain only declaration or signature is known as abstract function 
abstract function should be terminated here terminated because no implementation and abstract function compulsory should be override so you can see where it is override here here it is override abstract function is override okay right so abstract class cannot be instantiated directly so this is abstract class cannot be instantiated directly so we cannot create object for this class so that's what we need to create or derive new class from abstract class what class we have created here it is new class so we need to create or derive new class from abstract class to provide functionality to its abstract functions we are providing functionality to its abstract function okay then by default abstract class functions are not public and abstract so that's what we have given public and abstract here okay public and abstract so abstract class can contain all members of class like data fields properties indexers events constructor destructors and functions also okay right so now you can see these two don't have any main method let me create uh, one more class for consuming this all CLS abstract it is non derived class and it is having main method then let's create object for what class CLS manager 1 obj1 equal to new CLS manager 1 then obj1 dot get EMP data and obj1 dot display EMP data then to stay back to our screen console dot uh, read here okay console dot read when I am going to execute here so we'll be implement that uh, uh, abstract function into what derived class so that derived class functions will be called here okay right so abstract class when to use means actually whenever you want to you don't want to provide any implementation in base class that implementation can be provide into derived class for the same function then we can use abstract class okay right so let's go to properties and let's change the startup object here i'm expanding startup object and let me choose CLS abstract class then click on save it and click on run it will be able to get that abstract function and uh, get the MP data display MP data here let me do that enter manager details manager ID is 4567 4568 manager name is for example Durga Prasad and manager car allowance is 4500 bonus is 6000 then we'll be able to see that these details clearly using abstract class we did implementation okay same input same uh, output we have seen what we discussed in function overriding same example but the thing is implementation is different here we have used abstract class and abstract function so abstract class and abstract function okay so abstract function means which do not contain any implementation if you want to implement this functionality into other class okay other class which is going to be derived from this class then we can make it as this as abstract abstract function okay abstract function this abstract function wherever it is implement you can implement but that should be compulsory generated and that should be override abstract function is compulsory should be override here okay right so this is about abstract function and abstract class